<laughs> Can you do your theme song? I don't know. Gosh. <laughs> there it is. There's the intro. Flip, how are you feeling today, buddy? Good, man. I'm excited. Back home. When was the last time you were on this side of the country? <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I was in New York last weekend. That was the closest I've been to Massachusetts in like four or five months. Wow. So, it's the first weekend without a flight. That was nice. Since Resolution Weekend? July? Yeah. Wow. Since you jumped off the top of that Pretty creek. much. But then I watched the film and I was only up there for a few seconds. But I remember just standing up there and I'm like, oh God, what did I get myself into? I think that's why I wanted to do something so big because I knew I was going to be gone for a while. Yeah. And I, wanted, I didn't want people to forget about me. So I'm like, I got to do something crazy so they remember. Oh man, I've been over to England five times this year already. I went over there for Rev Pro, LDN, Southside, uh, Pro Wrestling Live, Target. Uh, I know I'm forgetting others. I went to OTT in Ireland. I went to WXW in Germany. I went to Mexico for two weeks for CMLL. Uh, There's an earthquake there. Got to stay a little longer because of it. And then obviously I was wrestling in the States. So I've been, just been busy. I love it. Yeah, I won a title for LDN uh, back in February and I held it on, on to it until August, I believe. All the months mixed together is one. I can't remember what I last year. Yeah, I'm sure it's a blur. So what do you think are like some of the biggest differences when you go overseas compared to America as far as like the crowds and wrestling shows I think go? it's just the crowds. Obviously it's a different style. They like different things. Everybody likes different ice cream. So as soon as you learn what they like, it gets easier. Like when I went down to Mexico, it was the funnest time of my life because I just felt like I didn't have to kill my body and I felt like I connected with the crowd so much better than anywhere else I've ever been. Um, England the same way, like I can go out in front of an England crowd and I know they're just going to be hot because they want to see professional wrestling. Mm. It's just nice to go to these other places where they appreciate wrestling so much more because I feel like sometimes here in the States, because there's so much of it, mm. it's almost taken for granted. And what is it like working with the guys overseas too? What's that like? How is that different? It's awesome because obviously everybody comes up a different way. Everybody has a different trainer. It's mm -hmm. so like when you wrestle in like the region, you're obviously wrestling guys. They're trained a similar way. Mm -hmm. Then you start traveling all else in the country. You learn different styles from them, even just within the same country. And then you start going to these other countries. Yep. And that's when you really start to learn different styles because different people were brought up different ways. And that's one of the coolest part about traveling is you're learning so many different styles. I've learned so much, even like my match, my first couple matches back when I got back from Mexico, I felt a tremendous difference. Even though I'd been wrestling in Mexico for two and a half weeks, mm. because it was a different style, I felt like when I came back to this style, it just made me better as a performer. Do you ever find yourself like, you know, in Mexico thinking about something that Fury told you, you know what I mean? Like, do you hear that voice in your head All kind of All the time, I always think of like things that people told me coming up. And obviously when you're in the ring, you remember it more than when they just tell you. Mm. Sometimes after a match, they give you feedback. You're like, oh yeah, I knew that, whatever. But it's totally different when you're in there in the ring and you're like, oh yeah, they told me to do this. Oh my gosh, that worked. Why haven't I been doing this? One of my other memories, like first memories, is my first match here in Chaotic. I went against Booker and it was one of those things where it's like, oh my gosh, like I just started, I'm already getting an opportunity six months in. And that feels like six months ago. Yeah. And here we are almost two and a half years later. Back of the head, a young man from Kalispell, Montana. Unbelievable. Oh! Just his footing but regains it. Oh man! Do you ever think about the times when you were just like chilling at the merch table, just getting started? Nobody knew who you Wishing were. Wishing I was on shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I met you. I remember yeah. I wasn't even on shows yet. I'd been training three or four months when I met you. Mm. And to uh, being in the crowd and be like, oh man, I can't wait to be on shows. To uh, being a security guard, you know, doing like run-ins and stuff and getting beaten up as a security guard. Mm. To now being in the ring and being 
I would almost say like a main attraction now is where people are coming to see me. If you can like send a message to like all the new kids coming up at the New England Pro Wrestling Academy, Fury's got like a full house in there right now. I was so he's there got... two days this week for the first time in a while. And there's a lot of new faces. So what was? Let's start with that. Like, what was your kind of overall opinion on seeing the kids there and the new crop? I love seeing so many people. Uh, willing to step outside their bubble to chase a dream. It takes a lot for somebody to be able to do that, to chase a dream, because there's so many people that are gonna tell them, you can't do this, it's not realistic. And so I would just like to tell those people that no matter what happens, chase your dream. There's gonna be haters, there's gonna be people that tell you you're too small, too slow. You just gotta let that stuff go in one ear, out the other, follow your heart, and anything is possible.